As we watch what happens with Elsa, coastal communities are celebrating the 4th of July, bringing crowds back to town. ABC 27's Micah Cho talked to business owners in Apalachicola about the return of big gatherings and potential coastal threats this summer. It's the time of year that business owners have been waiting for. And we depend on tourism, you know, to sustain. Andrea Pendleton owns the station, one of the businesses in Apalachicola, hoping to rebound this summer after being hit especially hard by the pandemic. Our livelihood was on the line at that point. With the restaurant losing? Probably at least 150000 This is not the first time hard times have fallen on this restaurant. In 2018, the restaurant's roof was torn off the building, leaving them without one for nearly a year. But we had plenty of tarps. It's, it's how we survived. And, you know, <laughs> the blue tarps were everywhere. With those tarps a thing of the past and COVID restrictions lifted, things are looking up in the coastal community. Yet there's another concern, hurricane season. With storms like Elsa putting coastal communities on alert, Chamber of Commerce Director John Solomon says a big storm could be devastating to this community. During the high season, it would be it would be devastating uh, for this time of year for something to come through. Tourism would come to a screeching halt for a period of time. But for Riverside Mercantile, they're already seeing double their sales this year and say they're prepared for anything. The town is thriving, um, small business is thriving. Um, so we withstood uh, hurricanes, COVID, and uh, so we're here to stay. Apalachicola tourists happy that their favorite town is back on its feet. Enjoy each other's company a little bit better. You see everybody's faces and everybody's enjoying uh, everything that's going on. In Apalachicola, Micah Cho for ABC 27.